Okay. In crafting an ad, there's the risk reversal by saying, has anybody seen this here where if you don't buy this product or if you try this product or service and it doesn't work, I'll give you all your money back plus $100. That's a risk reversal. Okay. The expression is, is idiot proof. Okay. That's no disrespect to our prospects. But you make it foolproof to say, hey, if you try this offer, you give it a legitimate try, and you're not happy with it, you're, either way you're going to walk away better. And by the way, we should all be in those businesses. Okay. Guarantees are very, very important. The public has a right to be skeptical. Okay. You shouldn't go into a restaurant and eat a meal or eat half a meal, and if you're not happy with it, not have to pay for it. Right? Your business shouldn't be any different. You also need to be able to show proof and use testimonials. Irrefutable proof of what you're using. The whole science to testimonials. You may need to write them yourself. Okay? And I'm not talking about works of fiction, but things that your clients and your prospects say to you are very, very important. Okay? Uh, Janet's still in the room? Okay. Janet, we had a meeting to come back with their business knowledge. Okay? Richard Simmons, you joke about that little guy joke, joking up and down? Numbers in the infomercial, is it unusual for him to have a $10 million week? Not unusual. No, that's, that's gross. That's not the net. But there's some net in there. Okay? He's made a fortune marketing himself. So it's selling people when you're marketing your product, your service. I don't care if you're a marriage counselor, you're a dietitian, a real estate investor. You need to sell people on themselves. Just because you can do it doesn't mean that the individual feels that they can do it. Real important transition. So you want to be able to show people like them, that look like them, that walk like them, that talk like them, that can follow your system, get results. So the inadequate message is anything if you have a unique selling proposition, you should work on that. The VSP is value selling proposition. You need an offer, you need a call to action. By the way, we have material that shows you all this, but can you go home? Can you start studying this closely yourself? Can you look at your at your, your mail? Can you look at your email? Can you see what's coming? We've got 100 people in the room plus. You're all getting different pieces of mail. You're all getting different pieces of email. They got your number, okay? You, young lady, and I, okay? We may have a lot in common, but our mail is different. The clothing models, the people in there are different, okay? There's people marketing this to a different way, and they know things most of the public doesn't know. I'm going to show you how to get that knowledge. Again, it gets to the message to market. Oops, the world's greatest marketing message is no better than the world's worst. It, it should, falls on deaf ears. You need to wake people up. You know what's really neat? When you get this marketing thing right, you're going to discover that people are working harder to find you than you are them. Okay? When it's done right, you will have a waiting line of people looking for you to be able to find that. And sometimes it scares people. They're doing everything, they're so used to being hungry puppies and everything, that it hits right, and all of a sudden one business comes in and you go, that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, there's certainly your fair share of business out there. Okay, there's people with less time, less talent, less energy. So don't be surprised when this happens, because they are out there looking for you. They are spending money, they are investing in things. They need to. It's essential. Right targets, right message, geographics, demographics, psychographics. Now, these are words I did learn in, in college, <laughs> clientele, but I never learned how to translate it. Who here has heard of list brokers? I guess about half. Do you know you can buy information or rent information? Do you know how readily available it is? I don't know. I'm going to give you some names. Equifax, Info USA. Most people here are around in Detroit. I'm uh, near Lassa Road and uh, the Lodge, R.L. Polk. There's, there's a whole room. Okay, Fortune 500 company, maybe 100 company. They sell information. My rep there, his name is Matt Cool. Matthew Cool. I can always remember that. I haven't met him personally, but he sits in a cubicle and he sells information. You can get this information. You can get it through me, but you can Google it. You can get this information. You can find out what people are earning, whether they're married, whether they have children. Who here sells um, to consumers? 
Okay, whether it's investment or consumers. The rest of you are selling business? To, to business? Okay, who here is selling to consumers? You are, you're selling to consumers. All right, you're going to help me out here. You can share Which list is that? Is that Dearborn or is that Kim? That's Dearborn. Who else well, sells to consumers? Gentlemen. So you just hear each other. What do you sell to consumers, Mary? Financial products. Financial products. If you knew somebody's birthday, everybody here, is there something you can offer them on their birthday that could maybe lead to a sales appointment? Do you know how to get that information? No? Okay. Has anybody ever heard of a company called Equifax? A credit reporting agency. They also sell information. You hear me? Ladies, what do you sell? Insurance. You sell insurance. Oh, really? What kind of insurance? Uh, home health and auto. Home health and auto. Boy, how about if it was my birthday in October? And you offered to give me an audit. Okay? It may be about a wine to share with my spouse or something. And you promised me, can, are you good at what you're doing? Okay. <laughs> if you took all of my insurance, if you took all of my insurance, and you did an audit of everything that I'm paying, would you be willing, and I'm serious, no visa clause, would you be willing to pay me $100 cash if you couldn't save me at least $200 a year? Not a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem. Okay. I'm independent. Not a okay. By the way, I own two vehicles for my home, my car, my wife's Suburban. I own a commercial truck. I own two Harley Davidson motorcycles. I have a jet ski, and I have a pontoon boat. And I have a house, and I have a commercial boat. My God, it's a lot of insurance. Okay. Now, what's you, your name? I can't see your hair. Sharon Barnes. Sharon Barnes. You have Dearborn, okay. What I've given Sharon here, I will give anybody in the room who's interested in this. This is from Equifax. I bought this just yesterday for pennies. Okay, pennies per name. This is a list of consumers, people in Dearborn, that earn $150,000 a year plus. They have a 680 plus credit score, and they have birthdays in October. Okay. If anybody knows who, uh, let's just take the bottom. There's is that Michael Reichert at 3996 Kingston Street, Dearborn Heights, Michigan. These are real names, real people. Okay, sir, what do you what do you sell? Yeah, uh, right. Shackley uh, Health and Wellness Products. Shackley Health. Okay, you've got the um, the Livonia list. Yes. There's a hundred people there in Livonia. There's more than this. It's just what we pulled. Can you name off one name? Um, Greg Black. And his address. Uh, We're all going over to Greg's house afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Allen Street. Allen Street? Uh, 20568 Allen. Okay. Street. Allen again makes $150,000 plus a year. Okay. Not last year, this year. Some of us just pulled kind of like your college student and you haven't before. Okay. This information came from Equifax. It's available to anybody in the room here. Okay. Now, if we had more time and everything, we could say, is it important that they have children? Is it important the type of cars they own? We find out the type of cars they own. Are they collectible cars? Do we have motorcycles? Is there something unique? Yeah, you can make this more sophisticated. Okay, but for the dozen of you who are members, have a partner named Dean Kellenbeck, who's back here. He's making a fortune doing this for restaurants, sending invitations to people on their birthdays. He's getting responses as high as 35%. It's flattering. If I send you something on your birthday, make you an incredible offer, have a risk reversal. Okay, now, do you sell everybody? No, I'd be a quack up here to say, oh, this guy says it here. But could you take that list and send them a nice invitation? When I say send, we can direct mail, we can email, the old days, we do phone calls. By the way, you can still get a list of people you can call. It's a small list, but it's there. Okay, but it's, it's a media where you can set it up where they call you. This information is very, very valuable. Is that worth a couple bucks? Okay. Equifax is the name of the company. You get that information. Uh, again, this list is not applicable for everybody. You can find business lists. Okay, again, maybe you want to know the children, number of children they have, maybe you want to know their age. For my real estate investor clients, here's what we do. 